are just one week away now from the State Fair of Texas, Big Tex, making his 2017 debut. And Dallas police already have security measures in place. Our Yona Gavino live right now, sharing how preps look. Here in the Midway, you can see that tents and booths rides are already being set up, but we also got a chance to meet a bunch of folks who are out here to take a picture with their favorite Texas mascot. Howdy, folks. This is Big Tex. Big Tex is back and ready to greet an estimated 100,000 fairgoers a day. With one week out, there's a lot of unfinished business. Boxes to unpack and buildings to build. The, the fairgrounds is, are always a buzz with something going on. If you look over in the Texas Auto Show area, buildings have been constructed just for the 24 day run of the fair. So a lot of that is being finalized right now as well. Carissa Condoyanis does PR for the state fair. She says expect more officers this year. She couldn't reveal the number, but tells me additional off duty cops have been hired. The state fair expects to pay $1 million for security and traffic control. I'm super excited. I'm ready. Marisol's been going to the fair since she was the size of Milan. I already have my schedule set for all the foods, the new foods, so I'm ready for them. She's excited to introduce her daughter to fried happiness and rides she's now big enough to try. Welcome to the state fair exit. With a 95 gallon hat and a boot size, a whopping size 96, it's hard to stack up to big Tex, but he hopes you get a Texas strong button to match his. We do fundraisers throughout the year. This one will raise money for Harvey relief efforts. We printed 100,000 of them, and our hope is to sell out. Um, we had 2.4 million people come to the fair last year, so we felt that 100,000 was attainable. And let me show you one more look at the button. It costs just $2, and you can get one anywhere here at the fairgrounds where they sell big tech merchandise. Live in Dallas, Yona Govino, CBS 11 News.